So, um, who bill this really be this low? I feel like the last time I went to Pennywise and made my last haul, it was not this long and it was not this expensive. <sighs> Just chill. The last time I made a huge haul, this was not the price I paid. This was not the amount I paid. What the hell I really buy? Yeah. Let me see what this haul really consisted of. For the longest while, I've been wanting to get my hands on these. I thought I had to order them online, but when I looked in Pennywise and I'm walking down that section, I was like, ah, yeah, I need to get it. Only this wasn't even on my list. And this is what I pick up. It's a hair scalp massager or a shampoo brush. It's used to gently cleanse, relax, and stimulate the scalp. This is what it looks like. $32.95. I wanted to purchase a pack of lashes. I was really looking for Kenzie Beauty lashes in the style rich because that is the style of lashes I would usually go for clients that aren't into lashes and I'm trying to like break them out gently <laughs> so that is the brand I would go for that is the style I would go for and I wasn't seeing it at all so I got this brand of lashes called cherry blossom the style is Jupiter and I think it's still really fluffy and it looks short by the way Kenzie Beauty um, the Laramine branch is really low on your lashes so you need to stop them up <laughs> or maybe people just bought it out like immediately these cherry blossom five pack lashes cost $39.95 y'all I have really really been feeling these bandos I see them online and I think they're super cute this is the next one I saw like I don't even wear bandos but I'll wear these I've been wanting to get them for a really, really long time. Usually I see them for like a hundred and something dollars online. But when I saw this, I was like, immediately, yes. And I wanted to get a black one and I wanted to get a gold one. So it will go back with just about everything that I'm wearing. And I love that for me. This brand, they're both Ashley Lee. However, this one was cheaper than this one. This Ashley Lee fancy band will cost $19.95 all year. It's so cheap! This one, however, not so much. This Ashley Lee fancy band will cost $69.95. Y'all seen the difference? $19.95, $69.95. Whoa. I guess the shiny eyes is the more expensive. Yo, I don't know about y'all, but I am always in need of a pack of lint brush, okay? I have been without one and I have been suffering the consequences. A friend of mine was like, what the hell is that on your shoulder? And I was like, lint. <laughs> this family made three piece lint remover cost $12.95, which is not bad at all. The only thing is that it's super thin though. I need to get a lint remover with more. I think I just picked it up because I was like, oh, it's cheap. But then I'm not gonna get that much use out of it. So I'll have to revisit this. I got me a deodorant. And to be honest, I probably should have picked up two. The last time I made my haul was quite December earlier. Oh, you remember that whole story, that whole fiasco. Embarrassment in the people Pennywise. So I ran out of deodorant and I was using others that i had that i don't really like or that i just don't want to wear and listen it's been a listen i i real haul out for this haul and that's probably why i'm suffering the consequences i'm paying so much money i still vex with myself you know anyways my sister she actually introduced me to this fragrance of dove deodorant this one is the vanilla and cocoa butter, and I think it smells yummy. <laughs> My dove is gonna be smelling different, you know what I'm saying? 
48 hour dove nourish secrets cost $24.95 I had to do some stocking up on some of my makeup stuff. To be honest, I am growing in clientele and business and I'm really, really happy where that is concerned because I feel like I've been waiting years for this and it's finally doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> so I purchased Lash Glue. Another makeup artist actually told me about the black one. She uses the black one. Usually I would purchase the clear but the black one makes sense when it is you're too lazy to line an eye do say i see the i envy strong lash adhesive cost 26.95 each always gonna need mascara one since i've started my new brow waxing and tinting service get at your girl shameless advertising plug right here <laughs> so I decided to just pick up some mascara ones for that and it was super affordable as well this 12 piece mascara one cost seven dollars and fifty cents why I didn't pick up more because my bill was ridiculous stacking up on my makeup stuff I got me an angle brush I got me two angle brushes from wet n wild I even got the angled liner brush I actually picked up two of those as well and I picked up my concealer brush I could have sworn I picked up two I guess I just picked up one every time I go to Pennywise I always reach for this the wet and wild contour brush cost $21.95 giving you a total of $43.90 for the both of them oh I thought I picked up two angle liner brush instead I picked up one angle liner brush and I pick up a small concealer brush so they are two different things the small concealer brush was $10.95 according to my bill I picked up two in the angle liner brush for $10.95 each I it's not in this bag I have been wanting to get my hands on these dual tipped cosmetic applicators for a while i was so glad i decided to ask one of the girls working there and she was nice enough to help me thank you very much girl plus this only cost four dollars and 95 cents and i couldn't pick up two because my bill was ridiculous i got this pack of mixed cosmetic sponges and the blossom assorted sponge cost 11.95 for 24 pieces not bad at all i picked up this ruby kisses liquid eyeliner and it was super cheap it cost 14.95 or what did it yes it cost 14.95 and i picked up this retractable pencil from ruby kiss as well it's called black is black this was $22.95 plus it's waterproof I didn't even study that I really like that it has a second tip so you can use it to like smudge out the liner if you want to do a smoky eye type vibe this is cool I bought the Colgate baking soda toothpaste having teeth on YouTube and social media you really really can't play and your girl cannot play with her teeth that's the first thing people are seeing you understand? I think in general, and since the public actually mixing and mingling a little bit more now, now as restrictions are lifted, make sure you're brushing all the teeth properly. And please note, scrub all your tongue. Thanks. This Colgate costs $15.95. A proud word from our non-sponsors. Guys, I must say what had me most excited was getting these bad boys oh my god y'all see it it is so cute it's from a business called bling babe i was informed about this brand from another makeup artist thanks boo and listen to me i was like yo i really hope it's still day because i don't already took so long i heard it had restocked in all the pennywise outlets and i kind of stick but I didn't get a click because I was still able to cup it. Mm, mm. Oh my goodness. And there are so many different sizes. I can't wait to use this. 
the bling babe flat back gems cost $65.95 and that actually cheaper than the other gems that I use love this for me oh my gosh I can't wait to have more money to be able to go and get the other colors because they were different colors and it comes with a cute little pencil to be able to apply it mm. In my next bag of goodies, oh my goodness, guys, this bag smells. Oh, yes! Y'all know I've been making candles. If you have not seen my candle video, and very gorgeous, very sexy, very floral, blossoming type of candles that I made, y'all need to go check that out. Other than that, I can't help myself on the I end up passing through the candle section. And I'm gonna pick up one. Even though I have like a million. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to light this in my studio. This one is called Indulging Honey and Chocolate. It's from Glade. This Glade scented candle cost $39.95. Ugh. I needed to get deep conditioner. I've been out of deep conditioner for a while too. So I decided to try this Eden Body Works. I've been seeing people use it a lot on my social media. Now this was years and years ago because when I was seeing it being advertised and used a lot on social media, it was not in Trinidad and Tobago, okay? And now it's in Trinidad and Tobago, I decided, you know, let me try it. I'm the kind of person, I more deep condition my hair every week than just condition it because I have very low porosity hair. And so I need to do all that I need to do to make sure my hair is absorbing all the moistures that there is and it's always in that state where it doesn't look dry and brittle and like if it dying of fist. Okay? And this one is called Coconut Share and I can't wait to try it. Oh my gosh. Although I'm the kind of person I prefer to have the entire line just to get the best out of the product. I decided I can't afford the entire line because listen to me, I am walking trip anyways and I'm just like, listen, I do not want to see this bill. This bill is looking like it. It's going to be ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? Let me just stick to what it is I need to buy. I did pick up extra stuff. I'm not going to deny that. So that is why I didn't get the shampoo and conditioner in this brand. It smells so nice. You definitely get that warm coconut type of smell and I love that. The Eden Natural Hair Mask Treatment cost $51.95. I bought two kinds of edge control. Another makeup artist had introduced me to this one. She says it's really, really good. This is the Edge Fixer from Kiss. This fragrance is called Sweet Peach and it has maximum hold. So let me see if it has any maximum hold on my edges. The Kiss Edge Fixer Glue cost $26.95. And as I said, I did get another edge control because I really like Arlene as well. I decided to purchase. To be honest, I had the ORS and I don't know what happened if the sun was in my room and it was a little too strong that they listened to me, guys. My edge control is currently liquefied. It's literally dissolved. Good thing it didn't have plenty in it because I would have real cool. Anybody who RS dissolved, mine's did. And my edges have been in shambles ever since. This is like 46, 95, and it lasts me. Guys, I need it fix. I just need it VIX, okay? It's not no story about it. I need it VIX. VIX costs $16.95 and it's for me alone, so I got me a small bottle. I picked up this in Pennywise last Christmas just for myself and I thought it smelled really good. I thought it was super affordable, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up another one. I wanna smell good every day, whether I'm out or at home, in my bed. I wanna smell good. I deserve to smell good all the time. This one is the Pink Vanilla Wish. It smells so yummy. It doesn't last as long, but that's okay. I love the smell. And it only costs $34.95. I almost pick up the cream. But it's a good thing because I might not care for it. 
I am using the Nature's Bounty Women Multivitamin. So I decided to cop this one for my dad. This one just says adult. So it doesn't say if it's for man or woman. So I guess my mother can take it as well. And I especially got some fish oil from the same brand for my father. The adult vitamin cost $82.95. Meanwhile, the fish oil cost $114.95. And I thought this was not bad considering you're getting 145 soft gels. So I was like, $114 for 145 soft gels? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a win for me. So I decided to take it. I got this deep conditioner in a pack. To be honest, I always pick up these small packs of stuff that you have for your hair. There's the peppermint, there's the tea tree oil, there's this, that, and the other. So I saw this and I was like, mm, why not try it? I don't know this brand. I hope it doesn't smell too, too strong, but I decided to just pick it up. This deep conditioner from Bigen, by Jen, Big N cost $9.95 when I run out of deep conditioner I grab the mini packs and I start shampooing and deep conditioning with those mini packs I decided to pick up a few this one is the argon oil it's a repairing deep conditioner then there's the castor oil premium hair mask and there is the peppermint oil and there is the macadamia oil I don't know if you all do this, but I always pick it up. Just in case I end up running out of something to put in my hair, which happened to me. I, I can always bank on these little packs to save me and my hair from a dried out week. <laughs> these masks all cost $10.95 each. I picked up these Diane hairpins for $6.95 and it has like a hundred in them oh guys i found the other angle liner brush this is it right here i decided to try a different shampoo the last time i did my haul i had the head and shoulders this time i decided to cut the aussie shampoo my dad used to purchase this in price smart and he used to purchase the large one and I have never personally bought it for myself. So this is my first time personally buying it for myself. I decided to pick up the Miracle Moist. I hope it works really, really great for my hair because I see and read a lot of great reviews about this brand. So hopefully I picked up a really good one. If you guys know which one is the best one to get, please comment and let me know. I would appreciate that so, so much. What I really liked about the Aussie shampoo as well is because it smells so good. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. Ah, can't wait to fling my hair after I wash it. I'll be like, you can't speak to me. My hair smelling good. I decided to get some hair accessories. Like, I feel like in some ways, this pandemic had let me let myself go. Y'all might not think that way, but I know how I used to be before I am what I am now. And I was the kind of person, I didn't play with my hair. I mean, all the, at that time, I wasn't good at makeup, but I never used to miss a beat with my hair and my clothes, how I look, and all these different things. And now, as I've gotten a bit into more beauty, I feel like it's much more than that. It's internally, it's mentally, as well as it's physically. So I want to get myself back there physically because I'm definitely in a better place mentally and internally. So, you know, I need to bring it full circle. So I just decided I'm going to really start paying more attention because I did let that part of myself go and I'm going to start to pay more attention to how I look on the outside. And it's not for anybody, it's for me, right? Don't get that twisted. They were only $9.95, isn't it? take me forever to find it on this list. I real hope I use it. Ole, if I don't use this and you don't see it make an appearance in my YouTube videos or my Instagram, boof my please, Ole, have that permission. 
I wanted to purchase some oil for my hair so I got this leave-in conditioning spray and it has a hundred percent castor oil in it I can just spray it in the different areas and then massage it into my scalp and this conditioning spray cost $39.95 Moving on to this next thing in my bag, I feel like I'm always asking you guys what soap to use because I realize I just get fed up of soaps. So there is a brand or two that I've gotten so fed up of using that I don't want to see right now that I just randomly picked up something else when I was in Benny Wise. I decided to get the Lux Botanicals Black Orchid Soap. It comes with three in a pack. So hopefully I don't get fed up of this. Plus, it wasn't that expensive. It cost $17.95. I got another one. I've never tried this before. This brand is called Ivory. It's an aloe scent bar soap. And I thought this is something I should try and see if I like it, you know? This was also cheap. This was cheaper than the Lux. This was $15.95. So I'm excited to try this soap and I'm ready to pelt with the one that I'm currently using because I'm fed up. And it's not even enough to do this soap. I think I just probably just get fed up with the same fragrance after a while. Does that mean something wrong with me? This bag consists of my makeup stuff and my skincare. All well, yeah, I run out of skincare and who the hell tell me to run out of skincare? why skincare products so expensive it's like a hundred and something dollars for a bottle and then the makeup it rounded off to a hundred dollars too so that's just a hundred a hundred a hundred each time basically because if you buy a foundation for eighty dollars and what are twenty dollars doing that twenty dollars going to disappear so fast as it turns out i did pick up two any concealer brushes Picked up two Garnier Masala Water. I need to learn how to start to make my own Masala Water because I just finished this too fast. They were both $62.95 each, giving a total of $125.90. I picked up this black opal foundation, and to be honest, I don't even know if I pick up the right thing. Yeah, I think it's looking like the right thing. And I'm not even talking about the shade. I thought the packaging was supposed to be like a tube, but I guess it's not a tube. Heavenly Honey in this Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. And it cost $74.95. That's $100 going right in. I got this CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. Honestly, I was breaking out a lot last year and I started using this and my skin cleared up considerably and then I switched it out the last time I went to Pennywise and I purchased the purple bottle and I feel like it doesn't do what this does in my opinion I could be wrong but when I start back using this I think it will definitely confirm that for me you know and this is $179.95 this is $200 right here I also picked up the SA cleanser this is the one that has salicylic acid it's for acne and all them bad stuff that was like to pop up on your face with all the time itself and this is $94.95 for those of you who follow me on Instagram as well as my YouTube channel and my makeup y'all know I've been using this for the longest and the longest watch what you say of it I was pinching my powder brush to get in the corners i finally decided to get myself some face powder and this is the loose finishing powder this cost 64 dollars and 95 cents i feel like i want to cup the other shades in it as well let me know if that's a good thing for those of you that are into makeup and know about it tell me i picked up this l'oreal infallible full wear concealer i have never tried this before i decided to get a highlighting shade it cost 89 dollars 95 for this tiny thing god damn i got this hydrating cleansing bar from cerave for my mother she is always complaining about her skin 
and this woman would not even wear her moisturizer consistently well I pray for me now because I need the strength the hydrating cleansing bar cost $45.95 which is not bad the bar soaps for these brands are usually really really cheap if it is you want to try something but you find the cleansers and the liquid form of it is too expensive definitely reach for the bar soap okay i also ran out of body lotion it was a kind of cocoa butter one and it was not in stock when i checked the shelves so i decided to purchase this one i think it's gonna last me a long time because the last one lasted me a really long time because I was like, yo, it's too hot for cream. It's too hot for cream. The most I would do is cream my foot and literally my ankle. And that is it. But I'm trying to change. I cannot be out here in these streets potentially looking ashy. I can't only be moisturizing my face all year. That's not a good look. This costs $69.95. It better last me for the rest of the year because my bill was too expensive i think my bill last year was like eleven hundred dollars maybe twelve price raise or something and i didn't know or oh, my eye just low last but not least i picked up my pads and my wipes and my panty shields that's that sort of thing but it wasn't as spectacular as the other things that i picked up Either way, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this haul. For those of you who did not see my body video, please make sure to check it out. Can we reach like 200 views? Oh my God. It's embarrassing to have 1,700 subscribers and I can't get 200 views on my last video. And if you have not seen my last Pennywise haul, highly doubt it. Still go check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching.